and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over something that's really, really important to a lot of Madden players, probably most. Guys, just want to let you know, we are heading into the worst part of Madden, the most fun part, but the worst part for a guy who knows how to manage their coins, or people who like to manage their coins, especially no money spent players. Guys, we're entering literally, like, the, the big bang of Madden. Like, I'm telling you guys, if you've ever played Madden in the past, you know that post-Christmas promo that you go like... Like that, it's over. Like we're literally man 21 already. That, that's the quickest gonna go. You guys are gonna see. Some of you won't make it. Some of you won't make the long winter. You're gonna quit. You're not gonna make it through. You're not gonna make it through to man 21. I'm telling you, guys, the worst market crash is coming. Like worse than this one. This was the worst one I've ever seen. It's worse. And not that the market's going to crash. There's going to be so much stuff coming out that you won't be able to even keep up. Like if you want to enjoy the game, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to say, "F it." Like I'm losing coins. Like that's it, guys. If you guys if you guys thought December was bad, if you if only you knew what comes out between January 1st and February like 25th, like in that span of a month and 25 days, the game will go from competitive overall grinding everything to all 99 overalls. Or at least close to it. And by 99 overalls, I don't mean base card 99 overalls, I mean chemmed up 99 overalls. And you'll see what I mean just just shortly. Now guys, before we get into the video, it is the last days of the 25 days of Pood Mist. All you gotta do to enter as per usual is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your secret word and your console. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. And that's pretty much it, guys. Go into every video today to do all of that so you guys don't miss out on the final days of the 25 days of Pood Mist. Now, back to what I was saying. Let's go over to the auction box so you guys can get an idea for what looks like normal right now. I want to let you know, if the market's this bad right now, you don't know what's going to hit you guys. I'm going to go over a little bit of it, and then obviously tomorrow in my January content preview, which I always do for you guys as I've started, because you guys seem to love that, I will go over just about everything that you guys should be expecting. Now, let's head over to the 9495s, right? Let's go check this out. So, 94s are 195, right? And these are top cards in Madden. Top cards in Madden are in the 200k range. If top cards in Madden are in the 200k range, you know what's going to happen? About to be Madden Anarchy. Let me give you guys a little. Let me give you guys a little upfront preview of what we should be seeing. So, starting in January, we will be receiving as our first thing, more than likely. First, we're going to get the Kindling Refresh to training. It's going to try to convert over to training. Not change the market a little bit, okay? Then, bam! First week of January, probably gonna hit with that playoff promo. All these purple cards, probably eight playoff masters, eight uh, uh, playoff legend set masters for 97 overalls. Okay, now it's like, okay, now playoffs are going to be like, oh my god, I'm going to buy these playoff cards. A week and a half later, bam, team of the year drops. Now we got an abundance of 95 overalls through 98 overalls, just spam, like so many of them. Now all these cards here that you guys see rendered useless. All these cards are going to be, Bo Jackson's going to be one of the few guys, Bo and Vic might be one of the few guys that actually make it through because typically it's hard to replace running backs and quarterbacks like that because the next few quarterbacks might be pocket passers, so you're not going to replace Vic for him anyways. So all these cards are gonna go down to like 115k. They're all gonna go, they're gonna go down a lot. I'm telling you guys. So now we have team of the year and we have playoffs. Now if, and now you're like, oh my god, I just bought all these playoff players. Now I gotta sell them because I want the team of the year players. So just letting you guys know, my first, my best bet is typically I don't go all in on playoffs. That's my best. That's my best advice from here, guys. For you guys, I do not invest heavy into playoffs. When playoffs comes, I enjoy it. Maybe take one card, but I typically wait till team of the year because team of the year is like, like that, like right after it. So I rather wait for team of the year because I typically like those cards better. Now if they drop a team of the year card that you guys can't be away from like a Saquon or Julio and you just really want it, whatever, go for it. But as far as team of the year, that's what I'll be waiting for. And then right after team of the year, like right when you, right when you think like, oh my god, I'm safe. The Super Bowl promo and NFL honors are the next two. So probably around January 7th ish is when the playoffs would probably drop that promo. About a week from two days ago. Somewhere around that time. I don't know if the drop of the day playoff starts. I don't really know. Next, right after that, team of the year probably drop right. Last year dropped January 14th. So that's the following week. Then they do the NFL honors typically going into like Pro Bowl week, which is a week or two after 14th. So towards the end of January. So that's what you got. You got probably a 98 overall Lamar Jackson MVP card. Or 99. 99 overall Lamar Jackson MVP card. You have a Super Bowl. MVP card that's probably 99 overall. You have Super Bowl cards that are probably 95 to 99 overall in general. You have Team of the Year cards that will go upwards to 98 overalls. So now you have 98s and 99s in the game. You know what happens to 94 overalls in that 
in that big in that big fish bowl. You think 94? They're they're guppies now. That's it. They're done. These aren't the the, the, the top dogs right now. Are like uber cheap. They're they're super cheap. It's crazy. And these are the top dogs. Just wait. Now this is why coming out of Christmas is such like a nice time. It's like the holiday season. You're playing Madden. You're enjoying. You spent all your money on Madden. That's why I always tell you guys don't always invest heavily into each promo because you're going to get burned. You guys, I know too many people. I've always been one of them. That Christmas promo, I'm like, I'm spending all my coins, and then. Like, ah, I got the best Christmas team that's ever been had in the history of Madden. I'm chilling. I'm ready to go with this amazing team. And then I'm like, all right, bring it on January. And like two weeks later, I'm, I'm like getting getting dragged out of January with like barely have my underwear still on. I got destroyed. That was it. Like, I have no coins. I'm broke. I'm, I'm homeless now. That's it. That, that is literally what happens. Do not be the guy who leaves Christmas with an entire Christmas team. If you guys have a bunch of Christmas players, I'd say you keep Bo, I say you keep Vic, Strahan, Blunt, any of those guys. Maybe the new guys that come out tomorrow, but I do, do not, and I repeat, do not come out of this promo with all Christmas players, because this is why people quit. You spend all your money on Christmas players, you're feeling loaded. Team of the year and play, playoff drop, you're like, okay, I'm not gonna sell my team, they went down too much, maybe they'll come back up. Team of the year drops, and you're like, oh my God, I don't think they'll come back up. Honors, Super Bowl starts, now you have, your team's probably worth a fourth of what it was worth before, now you're considered Madden broke, and then, you, and then that's when people are like, I hate this game, I'm quitting, and then you see them back in August for Madden 21. I'm telling you, don't be that guy. You can, you can, the word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your console. Once you do all this thing, you're interested to win. Good luck. Prevent this crash. You can do it. Not prevent it. You can be vigilant and be ready for it. Because as you guys can see, the best quarterbacks in the game are 280. The best of every card in the game are below 400K. You guys, these cards are going, like Devin Hester, he's going to be an afterthought in about two weeks. The only thing that keeps Devin Hester relevant is human joystick and his speed. If you don't think in about two weeks we're going to have more human joystick and speedy guys like Hester, you're wrong. A few guys, like Lawrence Taylor will make it most of the year because he'll be getting, by the time you're really ready to get rid of these, that's the beauty of guys like Lawrence Taylor. When you're ready to get rid of him, he probably has a new card. Oh, and then after you get past the carnage of all that, then you got Ultimate Legends, and then you got Easter, and then you got, it keeps going. I'm telling you, after the new year, Madden just starts dropping things crazy. And it's not like, it's not as fun as it was earlier because everyone's so good at the, everyone's so, uh, there's so much stuff, but pretty much up until the Super Bowl and Ultimate Legends, that's typically just a long period of fast paced content. Now we're not gonna see it like this one with Christmas works like every day. It might only be like once a week or twice a week, but it's going to be very big and in large amounts. EA's made their money already, so now it's going to be spamming out content. Although trust me, they're still gonna cash in. They, they typically cash into Ultimate Legends. That's when things start getting a lot lighter on us. I'm just letting you guys know that will be coming. I just want you guys to stay ready because that is going to happen. That is a fact that is going to happen. And Team of the Year drops what? give or take 30 30 to 45 cards depending 30 to 45 to 50 cards i'd imagine right because each position gets about one one card some positions get more than one card there's what 13 13 positions on i forget there's five linemen a tight end that's six three wide receivers that could be nine give or take you have like 11 people on the field right so that's 20 that's like 22 total and then you have the special teams the kicker the kicker turner the punt returner you have the, the, there's going to be two or three wide receivers, going to be two running backs, going to be possibly two tight ends. Not, not that they maybe not, but it'll be like two cornerbacks. So you add that up, you probably end up between 30 and 45 cards somewhere. Between, I don't know the exact number for team of the year. So that's where you end up with that. Plus, playoffs is going to drop probably like 895, 695 overalls with like 297 masters, as well as the NFL honors will drop like a 99, 98, 97, and maybe 96. And then to cap that all off, that's not including the LTDs and the other content we get throughout that. Touching guys, my best advice for you is to sell. Don't don't now don't don't be like, should I sell my my powered up double double chemmed up sprinter guy that I spent a million? No, no, no. You put that much money into him, keep him. It's fine. But if you have like, if you just go into your binder, you just have Pat Mahomes sitting there with Go Deep on him. Go take Go Deep off. Go sell them. They have no, they have no ability. And remember, you can you can now get a ninety percent refund on them. So I don't really feel too bad when you have to unpower players down. But now if you have the whole power up chain done. Maybe don't do it, but if you just have abilities on like Vic, I could just go to Vic right now, take all the stuff off, get back a 90% refund to sell him. Like a Vic's the kind of guy that you maybe you'd want to sell, but I'm keeping Vic just because I want that quarterback for the time being. But I'm just saying, cut some way. Bo Jackson, the, the guys go to the past you probably keep because they're gonna be useful for a while. But some of your NFL 100 cards that maybe you just have because you had the money, I, I wouldn't recommend you hold on to them. I'm telling you guys, it is going to be painful. Well, I, I've been a victim of spending 4 million coins on the Christmas promo plus, and then going to there and then leaving with about 700K worth of coins. Don't be that guy. I'm telling you, be smart with your coins, <clears throat> save them, build up your coin stack now. I'd recommend going to playoffs, don't spend too much in it, just enjoy it a little bit, get your free players, and then invest heavily into Team of the Year. Because Team of the Year cards, Team of the Year NFL Honor cards are cards that can be in your team the rest of the year. Because Chemmed Up and Powered Up, they're going to be close to 99s. That's when you get to a point where like newer cards don't really upgrade too much because you have Chemmed Up and Boost and stuff. So 
playoff cards aren't going to be good enough to be end game they're going to be like right before end game so like you're going to want to upgrade them team of the year cards the 97 98 like last year 98 girly if you powered and kept him up that's like 98 speed he's pretty much end game so like you can rock with like you can you can buy like like okay i have the position done for the year you can you can honestly do that with team of the year and especially in the fall honors with like mvp lamar jackson and then overall so that's all i'm saying definitely wait for those things wait for team of the year and wait for play uh and nfl honors and then potentially super bowl those cards you can use all year playoffs i don't really touch too much because playoffs kind of like same overalls as the christmas stuff but like they're at a later point in the game so that's about it guys i hope you guys did enjoy i felt this video was very insightful i hope this helps you guys all you guys that are just entered the 25 days of improvements by the way since it is the last day subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below your console and the secret word here at the video once you do those things you're entered to win good luck see you guys in the next video peace